Texas Lakes, no doubt about it, we love them. They are a part of what makes Texas, Texas. Hi right there. Now you may love boating or swimming, or if you're like me, tossing a line in the water and trying to pull up a big one. Texas lakes are full of fun, but if we're not careful, they could also become full of invasive species that can ruin the fun for all of us. I'm talking about the worst of the worst. Giant salvinia, zebra mussels, I get shivers just thinking about them. They're already in many Texas lakes, so we have to keep those villains from spreading to uninfested lakes. So you're thinking, what can I do to help? Well, let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. We can get Wally here to show us how. The first step, clean your boat. Invasive species are sneaky little invaders and they try to hitchhike a ride by grabbing onto your boat or trailer, even hiding in mud and other debris. So clean it and clean it good. Everything that's been in the water, even the anchor and the uh, anchor line. Uh, you missed a piece there, Wally. Ah, that's better. It's important to check the motor and the prop. We all need to remember that even the tiniest plant piece can cause a new infestation at another lake. Step two, drain your boat. After you've cleaned your watercraft and before you leave the ramp area, you have to drain water from every space that can hold it, even your bait buckets and live wells. Now I know a lot of us wanna save that bait to lure again another day in another lake, but that's a good way to spread invasive species. Oh, and don't forget to keep the fish you caught in the cooler when you take it home. Those zebra mussels like to hide in water. They start out too small to see with the naked eye, but when they grow big, gee willikers, they're just the dickens to deal with. The third step is to dry your boat and everything that's in it. That's right, Wally, fishing tackle too, everything. Let your stuff dry for at least a week before traveling to another lake. But if you don't have a lot of drying out time, swing by the car wash to use high pressure soapy water. That'll do the trick in a pinch. And don't forget the trailer while you're at it. <laughs> Attaboy. And there you have it. Clean, drain, and dry your boat, trailer gear, and fishing equipment. Thumbs up to you, too, for being a responsible angler and protector of our lakes. We don't want to spread invasive species. We get a lot of enjoyment from our lakes. So let's love those lakes back. Well, that, that's all for now. May the hold in your net be smaller than the fish in it. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. <laughs>